My name's Rav, uh, Ravgill1 on Insta. This is my E30 V8 S62 lump. Uh, I'm here at Westside with it today. Started off with a Mark III R32, Mark II 180s, uh, Mazda MX-5. That's when I first started to drift and learn how to drift. Uh, E46 M3, E92 M3, and now I've got this. It's just savage. <laughs> it's different. It's, you don't see an E30 like this often with a big lump. And plus, especially with it, like engine hanging out the bonnet, like normally everything's closed under the bonnet. This just hangs out the bonnet. Everyone can see the big V8. It's wide, nice wheels. It's just different. It's an animal. Don't stay straight. Put it that way. <laughs> Most of it was done as it is. I've redone the wheels, tidy it all up. I'm going to do the dash, digi clocks and everything, and leave it as it is mainly. The car's pretty much done. It's nice. Running gear wise, I'm going to change a diff, a few things like prop shaft, like just change it up a little bit so it's stronger, more reliable. Other than that, it's leave it as it is. So my name is Stuart Turner. This is a Mark 1 Polo. So it's 1977 Polo L. Um, so they came out in 76 and they ran to 79 with these metal bumpers and then up till 80 with plastic bumpers. I was actually looking for a Golf, a, a green or a yellow Golf, an early Golf, like a pre-79 small light. But then I've always had a soft spot for Polos. My first car was a Mark II Polo Coupe um, and I drive a 6R Polo daily. So I was scouring Instagram, essentially looking for photos of cars that I could then send the owner a message saying, do you want to sell? Um, I saw the post for this one and they said, um, someone take this away before it rots, I think was something along that. Uh, so I sent them a message and went and picked it up and they went wrong. It was in pretty bad way. It had been parked, um, parked up for a while and dailyed for about five years prior to that. So it's had new front panel, new inner, inner wings on the front, new outer wings on the front, new floor pans, both, both of them, new sills, inner and outer both, rebuilt rear inner sills, new outer sills, new rear valance, new bonnet, new tailgate. Um, but it's the original colour, uh, although obviously resprayed on the outside, so the door tops are still the original paint. Uh, so the engine, I've, I've taken off the Solex carb and I've put on a Sorg Motorsport manifold and a pair of Weber Twin 40 carbs with 90 degree trumpets. So they, uh, that setup came off a Formula V, like an open seat racer that used a 1.3 Polo engine. I was going to leave it on the shelf until, uh, until I had a 1.3 that I was thinking of putting in. This is an 895cc, 900cc. Um, but it was locked down, there wasn't a lot on, so I thought I'd have a bit of fun and chuck it on. So I've chucked twin Webers on it and um, yeah, makes a bit of a different noise now. Um, and then I've lowered it on HR cup kit, so 40 mil front and back, um, just to make it sit down on the original alloys, which are 4.5 uh, J135 wide tires. So little skinny tires. I'm essentially driving around on four T coasters. It's not as easy to drive as a modern car but it's a lot of fun, it makes a lot of smiles. I see a lot of people coming towards me with arms outstretched saying, my first car was this. Um, so I think for a generation, it was the, the sort of affordable end of the Volkswagen Spectrum that got them into it. My name's Bobby, uh, I've come from Birmingham. Uh, this is a Mark II Scirocco, custom built by myself. Um, I've had it possibly six years, but it's been in storage and various other places, but I've, it's taken me six months to build in total from start to finish. It was a uh, non-runner, uh, engine had just been thrown in, not starting, not running, um, bodywork was damaged, uh, it was in a total state. It's been a complete restoration from under to ups to round and round. It's my first ever paint job ever. Um, it's got a Mark III ABF engine running on Suzuki bike carbs with uh, custom rad, custom intercooling and custom linkages for the gearbox, which is running a G60 gearbox. The inside has been all uh, Mark I Scirocco seats with um, uh, Harris Tweed, um, custom colour which is Sonoma Green, which never came to the state, which never came to the UK until recently. So it was a colour I seen and not many people liked it, but I saw it and I fell in love with the colour. So um, that's what I've done. And also it's got a Zender spoiler on the rear end, which is very rare. And the actual rocker cover I built myself. It's not something I've bought. It's not a motorsport one, it's actual custom built. It's a one-off in the world. I paid 400 quid when I bought the car, and as a non-runner, uh, damaged, and I, I bought it to prove a point that I can paint, because I was told I couldn't by a few people. So I took it, I painted it, done it all, took it to early edition, uh, and came top 20 um, with the car itself, and I'm, I'm very proud of it. 
I'm happy and content with it. Uh, it's actually going to be for sale, uh, so I've got to move on to other projects at the moment. So hopefully, enjoy it for a little bit, and then we'll for sale by the end of the <laughs> end of the month, probably. My name's uh, Richard, uh, so I, uh, I own an E46 M3. Um, I've had this car, well, coming up to now, uh, next month it's going to be 10 years uh, since I've owned it. So for me, this was basically a, uh, well, sort of a dream car in a way. Um, I mean, I've always been into BMWs from a sort of, you know, an early age. Um, and I've always been sort of a 3 Series fan anyway. Um, but yeah, when I, was, I went into my, 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 my mate's car, and he had an M3, drove it, and I thought, you know what, I need to get one as well. So um, I had an E46 330 at the time anyway, so I thought it was the next natural progression uh, to go up into the M3. So the modifications on the car, so as you see, I've done quite a, quite a bit on there. So I've done, um, I've put coilovers on there, so it's running BC coilovers. Um, I've just recently put uh, uh, Workmeister three-piece wheels on there. I just hadn't really done my uh, dips at custom cars, so uh, we just done a uh, bronze centre there and, and done a uh, repolish on the lips. Um, I've got a Strazatex uh, front spoiler on there, uh, CSL boot lid, AC Schnitzer style diffuser, uh, exhaust system wise. I've got a uh, Eisenman rear uh, brace box on there, uh, coupled with hundred cell cats and super spring manifolds. Uh, carbon air box underneath and some carbon goodies underneath the uh, bonnet. Um, ambers all round because I thought, well, go for the retro look on there. For looks looks pretty good. You don't see many of them. I mean, I'm not going to do any more sort of mods on it. I mean, I've, I've pretty got I've got it to the stage now where I'm happy with it. Um, I mean, the only thing I'm going to do is just basically just carry on, just maintaining the car at the moment, um, and just hopefully keep it long enough so uh, you know hopefully my son you know gets gets into cars as well he can uh, hopefully sort of take it off me and look after it a little bit driving experience of this car is is you know it's it's something else i mean compared to what i've had previously um this is probably one of the the quickest cars i've owned i mean granted now you look at cars nowadays i mean obviously they've got big power now i mean these won't keep up with sort of like you know the new m3s or m4s but the good thing about these cars are is that they're you know it's not so much about the power as such but it's the way they you know the way they drive and you know the, the, the experience that you get out of it as well um it's not just a case of just you know just driving all the ways you know just flooring it and uh, you know trying to kill yourself but, i mean with this car you've got usable power out of it um you know it, it's not going to you know get you into trouble but it keeps up with still some of the you know the modern stuff out there you know like the modern hatchbacks and stuff so uh but yeah i mean it's, it's it's a great car to drive and it's still it's still got that analog style feel to it because despite the fact it's got you know obviously newer than the 36 which is a bit more sort of you know analog in a way like, like all analog this is like a mix of analog and and digital away so you've got a little bit the the refinements of a modern car but still the feel of the old school the you know the old car so no, it's, it's, it's a lovely car and it's something something I could never part with now to be honest with you um, I mean I've had it for like I said for 10 years now um, so I'm, I've got no plans of uh, getting rid of it now so my name's Yerbs I've bought the purple one and the blue one 12 years uh, two years 180 about 350 brake um, another 180 250 brake this has been what's the word uh, love or hate basically this car has been love and hate this one I built from scrap cars really breaking cars and building it bit by bit it's gone from stage to stage basically um, first it was a daily then I decided to sell it then I built all the engine then I painted it again did a different stage again and yeah it's basically every time I change it it's caused me problems and heartache <laughs> It's got um, Super BBS RSs, uh, R8 wingbacks, fully trimmed, R8 steering wheel, fully forged 180 engine, GT28 turbo, custom pipe work, um, air ride, 
custom trim, full genuine R32 into uh, body kit, R8 steering wheel, full panoramic sunroof, custom paint. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Hopefully, maybe I'll be doing a, a virtual cockpit. Maybe. But that's if, you know.